This is part four, man. Hey, Tax Stone was going crazy. Part three? Yo, part three, he was talking about Nicki Minaj. He brought up Nicki Minaj situation. He brought up the Meek Mill, him and Meek Mill situation. He brought up, he was talking about Imani. He like, yo, come on. Like, let's let's get into part four real quick. Let's see what who let's see who he frying up now. Nigga, this nigga hit me with a gun. This nigga keep acting like he came in and shot me a fair one. Y'all went in the club. This nigga, I was by myself in the room. Them niggas wasn't in there. I got jumped by seven niggas. Niggas keep acting like I had a fair fight. Like, what the fuck is wrong with niggas? They like, yo, tax, you should have fought. I'm like, fought who? Nigga, I was never given the option. I got hit with a grip from the moment niggas came through that bitch. So it's like, now I'm fighting my case in court because I don't I don't really speak about my case. I let everybody else talk about it because they know. They know and I don't know, you heard? So I just let them speak on it. But it's just like, niggas going to see now that the case, they knew this shit was fucked up. The judge knew what he did with the sentencing. The sentencing was illegal. You were look the shit up. The nigga sentenced me concurrent. It was, I mean, consecutive. It was supposed to be concurrent because it happened in one room. It was not separate incidents. So he wasn't supposed to sentence me like that. So now they got to resentence me. So everybody that's being boisterous and brave, what I tell niggas is this. If you so smart, why don't you tell your lawyer, go look through my case before you get brave talking about you'll see me in 35 years. You might see me in 35 months, pussy. So you don't understand, like, y'all niggas is not that smart. Y'all dumb. You know, I don't, I don't even hate Joe. I don't hate that nigga. Like, I don't I, hate I him. I just finished that. telling these people. I'm like, I... Don't talk about my like, son. My son dead. My son died from cancer. Him and Nori keep talking about the nigga. Like, I don't even got beef with Nori. Word of my mother. Like, Nori, I don't hate that nigga. I'm going to smack the shit out of him when I see him. And if he get mad at that, then they be mad at that. And we don't got to be friends. But if he all right with me <laughs> smacking the shit out of him, then we could be friends after that. Because I don't really hate him, but I'm going to smack the shit out of him. You know what I mean? Nori, but a, a gentleman slap. Yeah. Come on, man. Niggas know what it is, bro. I don't. I, I've been with. I'll be. I'll be everywhere by myself. These niggas be with thirty-five niggas everywhere they go, and they always talking about, oh, you this and you that. Man, shut the fuck up, bro. I hang with women, bro. I hang with women and nerds, nigga. All my friends is tech geeks, my nigga. I'm the only street nigga around me. I don't got no fucking posse. True. It just, just like I said, like, I don't care though. It, it, to each his own, you know what I mean? I don't give a fuck. Like, it just don't, don't talk about my friends is dead. Like, especially niggas that wasn't harmful people. Like, you know, if I had a friend that was a killer and mad people want to say shit about him, it's like, it is what it is. The nigga was a killer, you know what I mean? But you talking about a fucking nigga that just helped people, put people on. He he gave Nori a standard contract when he first got on at, at Rockefeller. He, he's still holding that shit to this day. And it's like, bro, you a grown man. You mad at your ignorance. You agreed to a contract that was fucked up and you're mad at the nigga for giving it to you. You understand? Like as much as I love the locks, people don't understand what the locks was talking about on the radio. They was up there arguing about Diddy owning a publishing and he didn't even own it. The nigga Hoff Pierre owned it. They didn't know that. That's embarrassing that they didn't understand their business. And people keep talking about, yo, remember when the, nah, I do remember when the locks went up there and I was embarrassed for them because I'm a fan of them niggas. I said, these niggas don't know their business. You understand? So you got a nigga like Joe talking all this independent shit. Nigga, you've been signed to Web and Nitty since the day you came out. You signed to them old rat niggas. Ain't nobody worried about that old pussy nigga. You oh, over there taking yeah. pictures with the niggas the next day after you get snuffed. You, you not told this. You, bro, I'm not a podcaster, beloved. What is wrong with niggas? I've been in prison for eight years, bro. I do shit that niggas, man, like, I can't even, I can't even talk about. These niggas are crazy. Like you, you taking pictures with figures. These niggas are human beings. If a nigga's not a dinosaur, I'm not scared of them. Dinosaurs been extinct for years. You can't just pull up with a human being. Like yo, yo, I'm with such and such. Like what? The what? Fucking Biggie, Biggie made niggas bleed just like us. I listen to it every day. How could I neglect those words? Like, are you serious? Like, See? this is what I'm talking about. You talk. See, just that's why I miss Tax Stone's podcast. Yo, he went from being serious, but into but those last like fifteen to twenty five seconds, he went into his character podcast, charismatic bag. Like, yo, that's 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 what type. Go back to his podcast. Subscribe to my channel first, like I said, but go and check out his podcast because he was delivering this kind of content. He'll do that. He'll. Go from telling the serious story to like just cutting up a little bit in it. Know what I mean? 
little icebreakers in it because he know like it'd be so quiet when he go to talk and then he just say some lighthearted shit real quick to like you know make people chuckle to make you know what i mean make it like cool again but he still get his message across to a little kid a little boy dope fiend a mental midget he got beat up and then fucking took a picture with some niggas it's supposed to be some street gangsters that's 56 years old them niggas knees is bad they're doing bad Boy just told on a nigga from Pink Houses. This is just facts. Why are you taking pictures with these niggas like niggas is supposed to be afraid of them? That's wrong. And that's that's wrong. We don't want to go into to those levels yet. I don't think this room is built for that. But um, man, fuck the <laughs> niggas. <laughs> if you want to let them ask a couple of questions. Hey man, that was crazy. Tap in. That was uh once again, those was clips from Danny from the stop spaces that he held. Shout out to them. Go to subscribe to my channel. It's just, go to subscribe because I'm going to keep this content rolling. I'm in the trenches getting the content, scraping it up for y'all, man. Let's get it.